Hello, I'm David Bonert, ruminant nutritionist and extension beef cattle specialist with Oregon State University and the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center, and I'm here to present an Eastern Oregon Ag Minute. Video auctions are the new standard for cattle marketing. They operate much like a traditional auction taking place in a sale barn, but they have much, a much larger pool of potential buyers. As a result, cattle prices observed in video auctions are often more indicative of national, national processes than our local cash sale prices. This means we can learn what cattle markets really want by studying video auction prices and what characteristics result in price premiums and discounts. However, if the premium is not consistent across years, it may be a false signal. Therefore, ranchers need to carefully watch price trends to see what characteristics are valued. As a result, extension specialists from the University of California researched cattle sales from the Western Video Auction for the years 1997 through 2003. The anonymous data used in the study was from almost 2,000 lots of 500 to 625 pound calves. This week I'll be talking about the results of this study with emphasis on what variables influence the premiums and discounts received by cow-calf producers. A recent analysis by the University of California of prices paid for 500 to 625 pound calves using the Western video market from 1997 through 2003 indicated that Western cattle, those west of Nebraska, consistently receive a price discount of $5.50 per hundredweight compared to cattle from the Midwest. Average discounts for Oregon calves were $6.17 a hundred for Western Oregon. $6.52 for Northeastern Oregon, and $5.24 for Central and Southeastern Oregon. The existence of price discounts for Western cattle compared to the Midwest is a function of current market structure. As long as most feedlots and packing plants are located in the Midwest, Western calves will continue to be sold at discounted prices and shipped out of state. Therefore, it will be important for cow-calf producers to find ways to obtain price premiums through value-added innovations to minimize the discount received for their calves compared to producers in the Midwest. A recent analysis by the University of California of prices paid for 5 to 625 pound calves using the Western video market from 1997 through 2003 indicated that Western cattle again those west of Nebraska, consistently received a price discount of $5.50 per hundredweight compared to cattle from the Midwest. However, there are some opportunities to obtain price premiums that can mitigate our lower calf prices. These include time from weaning to marketing, quality assurance programs, preconditioning, and following a natural beef program. As time from weaning to delivery increases, so does the price premium paid for calves. On average, there has been a $1.27 per hundred weight price premium for weaning calves prior to selling. In addition, the premium normally increases $1.30 per hundred weight for each 30 day period after weaning. This premium for weaning calves prior to selling has increased the percentage of calves weaned for more than 30 days from very few if any in 1997 and 1998 to approximately 30 percent of all calves sold on the western video market from 2000 to 2003. Yesterday I mentioned how time after weaning can affect the price received for calves. Today I'm going to describe how preconditioning, a beef quality assurance program, and selling calves following natural beef guidelines can increase the price received for your calves. A recent study by the University of California of prices paid for 500 to 625 pound calves using the Western video market from 1997 through 2003 indicated that preconditioning your calves and following a beef quality assurance program can each increase the price received for your calves by approximately one dollar per hundredweight. In addition, calves meeting the requirements for natural beef received $1.60 per hundred more than calves not meeting the natural beef qualifications. In Oregon, the premium received for natural beef was $0.10 cents per hundred in Western Oregon, $1.75 in Northeastern Oregon, and $3.14 in Central and Southeast Oregon. However, as ranchers respond and provide increased supplies of natural beef to the market, natural beef may become the norm and premiums may slip away. 
This week, I have talked about the discounts Western cow calf producers receive for their calves compared to Midwest producers, based on a study conducted by the University of California of prices paid for 500 to 625 pound calves using the Western video market from 1997 through 2003. In addition, I have mentioned some ways to increase the price received for your calves. For example, if a cow calf producer in southeastern Oregon preconditioned calves, followed beef quality assurance guidelines, weaned calves at least 30 days prior to sale, and sold them under natural beef specifications through the Western video market, a premium of approximately $8.31 per hundredweight could be expected compared to a similar set of calves from southeastern Oregon that didn't meet the aforementioned specifications. This would translate into a total price premium of almost $42 per calf, assuming the average weight at sale was 500 pounds. Whether the costs associated with these factors are lower than the price benefits is a question that each rancher will have to determine individually. Also, to take advantage of these benefits, the cow-calf producer must be sure and sell his calves through a market that acknowledges and pays for the premiums. I'm David Bonert. Thanks for listening.